I'm back. I'm going to talk about something else here that has um, just been impressed on me to talk about. And that is slavery in the Bible. Slavery in the Bible. I'm going to just get straight to the point here. Slavery is puts a bad taste in everybody's mouth. Okay? But let me just start off saying this. Jesus Christ was a slave. Okay? He was a slave, man. He was the ultimate servant. All right? He did, they did everything to Jesus Christ that you would do to a slave. Especially when he got ready to die. And isn't it ironic? It was a black man that had to carry his cross. I mean, it's, it's a revelation in that. I just haven't gotten it yet. But the black man at the end of this, as we move to the end of this, this age, has been the slave for the most part. And it was a black man that assisted Jesus Christ in carrying his cross. There's a revelation in that, and I'm going to get it. I just haven't gotten it yet. But anyway, Jesus Christ was a slave. Let's keep that in mind as I talk. Jesus Christ was a slave. He was the ultimate servant. Okay? He came, he left his world, his place of paradise to serve you. To serve people that would be considered less than, well, I won't say that, but I mean, we were very low creatures. We were very low creatures. It's, it's kind of like this. If, if you were, if the only way the canine race, the entire canine race, will be saved from extinction, extinct, extinction, would you be willing to live as a canine, as a dog, live as a dog, eat as a dog, sleep as a dog, do all the things as a dog, it flees, ticks like a dog, and be tortured by dogs. You know how dogs torture each other, especially when they get ready to mate with other dogs. When you get ready to produce, you know how dogs torture those other dogs. Very painful. Would you be willing to do that? Leave your human life, your human living, and, and become a dog. You know you the dog. You smell like a dog. You everything dog you eat off the ground like a dog i mean everything and you're totally aware that you are a dog that you left your human life and became a dog would you be willing to do that to save the canine race i wouldn't all the species i rather should i should say the canine species i wouldn't do it but that's kind of what what jesus christ did he came, he stooped really low to save us. Okay, and you know how dogs are. Dogs are very nasty. They lick each other in the face, lick each other eye, that stuff in the eye. They lick each other between the legs, you know, and snip each other's butt. And then when they get ready to mate, they chew each other's testicles and eat off the ground. And all kind of nasty junk, man. So the canine species would just be extinct if I if it was up to me, I wouldn't do it. But it just find something else to pet. You know, I thought it was so we would just get some cats or something. Go find some possums or something and pet them. I don't know. But that's what Jesus Christ did, man. He came down, he had to live in a lot of filth to save us. Compared to heaven and here, it's filthy down here. Filthy. And so he went through a lot of suffering as well. And he became a servant. Man, we don't even like to be a servant even when we, we were being paid. I don't I don't like, I'm just to tell you the truth. I don't want to be working for nobody. I don't want to work for anybody. I like to work for myself and I like to do what I want to do. I don't want to work for nobody, but I do it because I have to. And then on top of that, you're getting yelled at at the job or, or getting accused of something or insulted and all that. 
but you're getting paid. You're making a living. You know, you you able to be able to buy your house, buy your home, car, furniture, whatnot, eat. But still, I, I don't. I'm only doing it now because I only do that because I got to do it. So nobody wants to be a servant, man. You know, nobody wants to be, uh, especially serving on another man. Especially if you're being treated uh, unfairly or treated badly. You know, people tend to just like to want to do what they want to do. But that's not the way the world is. In this world, somebody's got to serve. Uh, somebody's got to be, there's always going to be poor people, God said. The Lord said. The poor, you will always have the poor with you. And so there's all going to always be rich people. In the millennial reign, everybody's not going to be rich. Even when Christ gets back here, everybody's not going to be rich. There's going to be a lot of poor people. There's going to be a lot of people that don't have. Okay? Um, even in heaven right now, in paradise, I won't say there are poor people, but there are a lot of people they don't have as much as somebody else has. Okay? But there are some people that are very rich there. But then there are some people that are, I'll say, not so rich. Okay, but... Um, no, who wants to be a servant? I mean, you, if you really be honest with yourself, just be honest with yourself. Uh, and if you think you want to be a servant, it's because you just really haven't had no freedom. And you don't know what it's like to just be free. But Jesus Christ was a servant. Okay? He was a servant. And so he was a slave. Let's keep that in mind. Now, there are scriptures, again, as I said in my other video, Islam has infiltrated the minds of a lot of people. And they have uh, influenced the mind and thinking of a lot of people and churches. They got people thinking, some Christians thinking, that the Bible itself was written by the white man. That's a lie from Satan himself. And they got, got people thinking that the Bible was written to keep you enslaved. That's a lie from Satan. Jesus Christ was a slave. Now remember, we often say Jesus Christ was black. We often say Jesus Christ, when he come back, he's black. The Ancient of Days is, is described in um, um, the book of Daniel. But he was a slave. He was a servant. He was a servant of the Most High. He was also a servant to us. He did what we asked him to do. And he did it voluntarily. And he did it out of love. Y'all better stop, led, stop listening to Islam. They are deceiving you. I told you in my last video, Islam is a false religion. Allah is a false god. Muhammad is a false prophet. And Farrakhan is a false teacher. You better stop listening to, listen to Islam and that Quran is a false Bible. The whole thing is false. Jesus Christ was a slave. Jesus Christ was uh, a servant. But if you, he teach us, Jesus Christ teaches us if you want to be great, in the kingdom of God, you got to be a servant. Okay? And you got to have the heart of a servant. But the world teach you, don't take that. Okay? But now listen, I'll be the first one to say here, I don't want to be no slave. And if, if I thought it was coming my way, I would run as fast as I can in the other direction. I don't want to be nobody's slave. Okay, I like my own freedom. But now, if you read the book of Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 28 chapter, we know that slavery is a curse. It is not what God wanted for man. It's a curse. Slavery is a curse, okay? Now, um, um, slavery comes as a punishment for sometimes, not all the time. Sometimes slavery 
God uses slavery to accomplish what he wants. But uh, slavery, we can see in Deuteronomy 28, it's a punishment. Now, when Adam sinned, Adam saw the whole world into slavery. This world, y'all, we y'all don't understand. You are already enslaved. You are already enslaved. Okay, now we want to blame the white folks and the white man for what they did, but they are enslaved too. We're enslaved, and we probably got somebody serving us that we was enslaving them. Okay. Uh, that's the that's the way this world is, man. We this this is an enslaved camp. When Adam sinned, he sold the world into slavery and bondage. Okay, when he sinned, Satan took this world, this world system, and his kingdom. And so, Jesus Christ came into this world as a slave. To save us <clears throat> as a servant, the Bible called him a servant. See, I think the difference, one of the differences between a slave and a servant, a slave is a person who is forced to do something against his will. That's a, I would be considered more of a slave, but a person who does something voluntarily, I guess, would be more of a servant, I guess. But, uh, Jesus Christ was a slave, y'all. Now, we say Jesus Christ is black. But he was a slave. He was a servant. He was the most servant of the most high, and he was the ultimate servant. Okay, so uh, we shouldn't be, well, I ain't going to say we shouldn't be upset about what happened to us, but because nobody, that's a bit, what happened to black people was a very, very shameful, disgraceful, embarrassing, humiliating thing. I mean, it was just, even now, it's humiliating just to look back at our past. It's very humiliating. But this is what I want to say. <clears throat> as terrible as that was, uh, God still used it for something. That was some good he still got out of it. Um. How many of us, most of us would not have known anything about Christianity if we weren't sold into slavery? Okay? A lot of people, they're in heaven now because they were slaves. They would not have, they wouldn't be in heaven now if they had not became slaves back in the day. All right? Slavery is an awful thing. It's a curse. It's a terrible thing. But sometimes slavery is necessary. All right. Just like sometimes war is necessary. War is an evil, but sometimes it's necessary. Sometimes imprisonment is evil. When Adam sold, when Adam sinned, he sold, we, we were in prison here. It's a beautiful prison, but nevertheless, it's a prison. We can't get out of here. Only way out of here is through Christ. But sometimes imprisonment is necessary. It's a bad thing, but it's necessary. Okay? But uh, same with slavery. Slavery is very bad, but it, it was necessary. Um, now, the Bible has some very harsh things to say about slavery. I mean, it's, it's just really... To be honest with you, I don't, I don't care for it. I mean... I, if I if I said I did, I'd be lying. God knows my heart. There's some things in here about slavery, man. I just I don't understand it. I don't see why why would God would want that or or would agree to that. But God does not. I won't say want that. God sometimes allow this stuff, okay, to carry out His will. Or and see, sometimes we do things ourselves to get ourselves in slavery to enslave, like get ourselves enslaved, or we do things ourselves to cause us to be in prison. Okay? And then we blame God for it. But if you commit a crime, you're probably going to do the time, right? And uh, it's the same with slavery. The only thing I can say, if, if, if those people had been more 
attentive to protecting themselves, protecting their children. Something was wrong during that time, whether it was 100 years ago, 1,000 years ago, for them, for, for white people to come over there in their country and drag off millions across the ocean into another country and enslave them, something was wrong. I mean, let's just be honest about it, man. They, what were they doing? And then, and then they would take one after the other, just year after year. Why weren't they able to defend themselves? See, I mean, you know, it's, 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 it's mind boggling. You know, you, what, what can you say? Were they asleep or what? I mean, after, after 20 or 30 years, look like to me, everybody should have gotten together and started defending themselves, built boats themselves, go and, 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 uh, go after the ones that's been captured. But anyway, this is what I want to say. Um, the Bible has some very things, some things in the Bible about slavery. I just, I, I don't, I don't like them, but they're in there and there's got to be a reason why, but God does not want you to be a slave. Okay. Christ became a slave that we may be free. Okay. Christ became took on our sickness that we may be healed. He uh took stripes that we that you know he 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 was he was bruised for our iniquities and whatever he was homeless because he wanted us to have homes. Okay, he exchanged his life for ours. He does not want us to be slaves.